Good morning and welcome to DKGN24 Television, guys. Today we are just going to take a smaller Nyana Garden tour. Yeah, so just sit back and relax. And as you can see, this is a, a tomato and I'm pruning them because apparently uh, the leaves should not touch the water when you water them. Otherwise, it will go to rot very early. Yeah and uh, coming next year as you can see this is where we have planted our corn our corn or maize like we call it in south africa yeah so it is not it is not a much really we just planted a little bit and uh, together with this maize as you can see there are couple of squatches and yeah these are pumpkins and as you can see some are growing here and yeah we actually planted them at the same time but as you can see they did not grow at the same time and here as you can see this is my cabbages guys this is my cabbages i've got a problem with cabbage generally but then this one tend to be much better than others as you can see i don't know if i'll end up eating it or if it will end up like this one here as you can see this is the problem that i have with these cabbages i don't know what is uh, as you can see there are things that are moving here and then they move from here to the next cabbage it gets infected like this one here as you can see this one as you can see it's already infected i thought maybe this one i'm going to eat so yeah the one problem eh, that i have with these cabbages but uh, apart from that i think i think maybe i just need them to plant some i just need to plant them somewhere where they are not together with other vegetables like this one as you can also see here it was already beginning to but as you can see i think this is already infected and this is one of those that i'll take out yeah so this is my cabbages and then mixed here as you can see there's a spinach there's beetroots there's spinach there's beetroots and then going all along that side there and as you can see i've been selling some and then here as you can see there were beets here and then i took them out also and the reason you find that like here i took them and then here also i took them but then there are others here and these ones are not out i don't know when they grow they tend to to differ in sizes so these ones actually are this, just the small onion and then the ones that i've taken here is the ones that i've decided oh no these ones are matured i can sell them and then moving along here i've got my my onions and then as you can see this is what we call multiplanting as you can see here yeah, this is multiplanting as you can see i've planted them like this and then coming along again here as you can see it's more than one there and they've already started forming bulbs and then as they form bulbs they tend to push each other away so that each and everyone can see what it does and then uh, coming along here is the spinach but then with the spinach as you can see it is not multi uh, planting it's actually one one as you can see moving along going down there is actually one spinach one spinach uh, not multi planting and with other beards as well but then when it comes to carrots i think most of you know already how difficult it is to plant carrots so as you can see obviously with carrots that is multi planting it's just a bush there and whenever one someone comes and buy i just pick them out and then some more onions there and some more onions there and then going that side also some more beetroots and then as you can see also here i've already taken 
some of these beetroots here and then this one is going to sit the one next to it that is why i left those ones obviously i want i want seed from this one and then from that one so what is going to happen is i'm going to leave them until the seed falls down to the ground and then germinates and then from there i'll take it and then transplant them elsewhere and then yeah as you can see the only things i've planted here uh you've got onions and then i've got the spinach and then i've got your beetroots and then obviously i've got your carrots there and then coming here as you can see i've got my tomatoes here i've got my tomatoes i don't know for some reason they they they, they went to fruit uh, very ill as you can see this is this is very small but as you can see it has already gone to fruit it has just got about one two three four five uh, fruits and this is not the only tomato that i have got look at this one here uh, many fruits than that one also i i don't know but for some reason uh, small as they are small as they are they've got fruits i'm not complaining i'm not complaining and here's another one as you can also see with this one there uh, just waiting for them to ripen and then um i'm going to sell some like i've been doing i sell some and then i eat some and then yeah this page here and then here i've got my sweet potatoes i've got my sweet potatoes with sweet potatoes it is very very easy to plant actually you just need this you just need this vine and then once you once you've got this vine you just cut it you can cut it here you can cut it there and then you just plant it and then it will spread like it's spreading and then the more it spread the more you can cut yeah so i've left this space here going there all this space here i've left it for 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 these guys for these guys yeah actually guys these tomatoes these tomatoes there was a tomato here there was a tomato here it was only one tomato we don't know where it came from but it grew here and then we left it here and then we ate it we ate it from it we harvested and then we ate from it and then uh, obviously some fell down and then all these tomatoes that you see here all these tomatoes that we see here actually came from the tomato that was here so yeah i just took them and then i replanted them here like i'm going to do also with these ones here like i'm going to do also with this ones here as you can see as you can see these are tomatoes i've got one two three and then that other one there yeah so it's because four i'm going to take this out and then i'm going to plant them somewhere somewhere around here so yeah and then coming along there some more some more cabbage some more cabbage as you can see some more cabbage some more spinach some more carrots some more cabbage that side there and then going all the way there some more onions and then apart from that I also have mango. We also have mango trees here. We've got about two, four, six, seven, eight, nine mango trees, and then five oranges, and then we've got pawpaws there, and then coming here also more beetroots, more beetroots, more multi planting, more multi planting. As you can see, more multi planting. I don't know if you'll be able to see more multi planting, and also like your onions once they start forming bulbs they they push each other away and then you end up having maybe five but obviously maybe you'll have two or three that are bigger and two that are uh, much smaller because when you plant them like this they tend to compete for nutrients and then the side and then it's basically the survival of the fittest whichever forms bigger bulbs first it will actually grow 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 and then 
the ones that forms bulb later on it will grow smaller yeah and then coming along here as you can see this side the sun is about to set so yeah but also when you come this side when you have a look here this guys this uh this is actually a transplant bed this is a spinach and then after two weeks or three weeks uh, it will have grown and then i'll take them and then transplant them elsewhere and then as you can see i've got plenty mango leaves here i've got plenty mango leaves here and then they provide mulch for this spinach and then for the beets here but then the beets here man i don't know i don't know i think they'd rather be out there uh, under the under full sun because they are not actually growing as much as i hoped and then here i've got my carrots as you can see but then this bed here i used to to use it for transplant I'd, yeah i'd used to take from here and then plant on the other uh, bigger beds here and then the thing about this beetroot here as you can see uh as you can see it is it is growing it is growing but uh it is growing tall it is growing tall it is not actually forming uh, any bulbs underneath so most of the time i'm eating these leaves i'm harvesting these leaves but uh, i don't know i don't know uh, and i think the reason is because i've planted them under the shade and then it is not ideal for 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 them it is not ideal for them that is what i've realized as you can see as you can see it is growing tall it is growing taller but like i'm saying there's there's actually nothing here there's actually nothing here so i only eat this leaves from raw and for comparison guys i don't know uh if you can see this bit here uh, I've actually planted them elsewhere and there they are under full sun. The sun that they are not under any trees, nothing. They are just under full sun. And as you can see, the bulbs that these uh, bees have formed is actually not bad. And that is why I'm saying uh, I think those bees, that side, those that are under the trees, the reason that they did not form any bulbs is because they are under the shade and i think that is one of the mistakes that i did when i planted them uh, i shouldn't have planted them under the shade as you can see with also also this one you see how big it is yeah so i think next time i'll not plant under the shade and coming along uh, coming along i don't know if you'll be able to see but here's another transplant the beds but but uh, another transplant bed. but this one this 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 is actually red a uh, green pepper this this is green pepper this is green pepper so as soon as it is ready i'm going to transplant it also and plant it elsewhere